Hi, this is my digital interactive math notebook. So here's the instructions. The, um, the instructions are stated this notebook will be used to help you in math this year. We will explore math concepts together and independently using this notebook. Your notebook will represent you and your learning in math this year. This notebook is for math lessons only. Always do your best work, use your notebook regularly, and if you are absent, continue to complete any notes or tasks in your notebook. This is my grading for my notebook. Um, it's with details, labels, writing, and presentation. You can get a either three, two, one, or zero. Three being the best, zero being um, pretty much nothing. Um, like for details, it shows a lot of detail or it shows no t detail. That's the difference in t between a three and a zero. These are my standards for second grade mathematical practice. These are all the standards that I have to cover as a second grade teacher in, um, in math. There's three slides that represent all the standards that I must cover. This is my vocabulary portion. Um, the students will be able to add our words here and then write the description here or either type. <clears throat> if I decide to print this out for them, I could put this in a binder or um, students that are more uh, equipped with using technology could type. These are our homework sections, so I will provide um, two uh, problems a day. Um, a slide will be added or pages will be printed. Each problem can be solved here and they have to show their work. This is my math lab section. Um, there's multiple slides, there's about four of these. And then these are my, this is my completed math lab activity. So um, one of the standards we have to cover is time. Um, so I did a math lab activity where you could um, decipher between um, the clocks. Um, students could go around and look for clocks around the room that could represent this or see how um, each the clock has changed based on um, the directions the hand are pointing um, and then I provided the correct responses that children should get for this math lab um, to identify 2 o'clock, um, 2.15 and 2.30. So this is one of the sections that I added about um, just so students would feel free to be able to tell me what they were struggling with or what they were concerned about. So this is my concern page. They can write notes, I can review um, and then I can do either a small group or one-on-one -on -one time with the student to um, either reintroduce or give a little bit more clarity about the um, about the question they have a problem on. This is my notes section. Um, so a lot of the times students will just be able to pull this out instead of getting a random piece of paper that they could possibly lose. This is in their um, notebook. So this is the, the notes they will take. Um, if, if they need to at all, sometimes students will be on the computer for math, um, but others, they, they could be in their textbook or their workbook, um, but sometimes we could just be doing an activity and they could have a note or um, an idea they want to write down so it could help them remember. And I added a couple of sections for this. And that is the end of my math interactive notebook.